Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Bobby's Backyard. Today, we're back on the CLK 430. Today, we're going to figure out what's up at the top. Um, we're going to figure out which motor blew out for the seat. Figure out why the seats don't recline all the way forward so people can get in the back. And I'm going to have to reset the uh, rear headrest. That's going to be fun because I did find out it did get uh, hit in the rear. Did get rear-ended slightly that's why those popped up that's why the top doesn't work so to reset them you have to take out the whole seat but in order for me to take out the seats in the back i need these to recline forward on both sides to get you know so yeah it's gonna be fun today so let's get working all right i just started getting all into it my haywire and forgot that uh yeah forgot to hit record dang it but um it's easy to take these off it's two screws down here phillips slide it up and out i did both of them there's something wrong i mean this thing works i mean it goes it goes does that and everything won't retract it i don't know what's going on there i'll figure that out later but um yeah took out the back seat found out where the uh where the reset is reset latches it's not too hard that one back there gold piece and then over there on the opposite side also and then uh, so I pushed this over this little uh, foam piece that was there the triangle and as you can see you can see the tank right I don't think there's any fluid so let's go to the trunk I took all this out it's not that hard it's nothing but 10 millimeters all the way across up and over but uh yeah there is no fluid in the tank i don't know if that's good or bad so i'm gonna fill it up right now and see what happens well i'll be check a look at that the headrests are down how you like that check it out they go up and they go down Heck yeah, all it needed was fluid. Awesome, I bet you the top will work too now. Let's check it out. Well, would you look at that? The top works, baby. Uh, but we have major issues. <laughs> uh, we have a leak somewhere over here. It sprayed hydraulic fluid everywhere over here. I had to clean it up. So yeah, but at least I know it works. So I guess that's where all the fluid went. So now I gotta figure out where it's coming from. Crap. But yeah. Whew. Awesome. We got a top. And it is the next day. As you can see, I got the top up. I cleaned up the mess. Uh, so today, what I'm gonna do is that, yeah, I already filled up the tank. Uh, when I put the top up, it didn't leak. So I don't know what happened. So I'm gonna try to pull the top back down and see where that leak is coming from if it does come back or not um but uh today i only have a few hours so i'm gonna try to vacuum out the carpet front and rear and while the rear seat is out there's a lot of dog hair take out this car cover put the seats back in condition those and i think that's all due today um like i said i only have a couple hours so yeah let me see what's up with this top all right, took off the cover for over here. I got it halfway up and yeah, it started leaking again. Not as bad as before, but yeah, still, still leaking. So I guess it's leaking somewhere around here. I'm gonna turn it on and see where it's leaking. That sucks. All right, be right back. All right, it is the leak. I found it. It is coming out of that rod right there. So I guess the seal is bad. I think they have a repair kit. I'm going to see if I can order it on eBay. But yeah, it's coming out of the cylinder right there. That's good because I don't want it coming out of the line. That's hard to repair. I'd rather repair a seal. So let me see. A couple of Allen wrenches. And it comes out. All right, I'll see if I can find a repair kit. All right, it's fixed. Put the cover back on new owner will never know until you know after i just playing i just did that so i can operate it right now and 
start cleaning the interior it's it's a lot easier when the when the top down cleaning the interior all right let me finish this off all right now we're going to uh vacuum back here and back here and look at this discovery i found who the hell does that why did they they cut both seat belts there's no seat belts back here look at that no seat belts what the heck here's the rollers there's nothing wrong with them they even they even work I have no clue what the hell they were doing. So now I gotta get seat belts because that's not right. But all right, let's get the vacuum. All right, now I'm gonna install the back seat. That's pretty easy, slides right in. And with the uh, top down, it's even easier. And I can't install it all the way because I gotta get seat belts. So I'm just gonna lay everything in there and then bolt them down later. in all right let me go get the bottom cushion be right back like i said i'm not gonna bolt the bottom one down either no nothing because like i said seat belts all right Let's see if i can get these in there thing right there real quick slide that in there there we go good as new now let's clean up the seats all right let's get cleaning to the back seats and I'll probably do the little center console right here also no nope, can't see that okay let's just do the seats and I'm gonna use what I uh, used on that Mercedes I found it in the 2013 C250 that we did I'm gonna use some I'm gonna get some uh, conditioner for these seats because they are hard.
All right, we'll let that dry up. Not bad at all. Came out pretty nice. Sorry about the lighting. It's getting, getting uh, late. But yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Man, let me clean the lens. There we go. For a quick job, not bad. I like it. Steering wheel came out nice, it's clean. I don't know if anybody could tell, but I changed dash or instrument cluster. I have gas now and mileage. Let's go. Door panel, a little streaky. I don't like that armor all stuff. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna redo this detail again, but this was just a quick detail. Get it cleaned up. But I might just leave it like this and just wipe it down again. It's not bad. And yeah, I still need to get a code for the radio. I don't have the code, but as soon as I register it, I can go to Mercedes and get the get the code, no problem. All right, let's buff out the outside. All right, so now I'm gonna buff out the uh, the hood. I'm gonna use this uh, Turtle Wax Color Magic for jet black polish. Clean, shines, restores, and adds color for black cars, especially for black cars. That's what I'm gonna use today. But like I said, eh, hood is not that great. It's been repainted. All right, let's do the two front fenders. Switch over here to the fender. The next vendor. I didn't use it on this one. Didn't need it? Nah, not really. Mercedes got that true black, that, that blacker than blacker than black. Blacker than booty hole. I wouldn't know. I don't know either. <laughs> not bad, there's some fucking scratches up there. Ooh, rock lobster are done. Damn, this thing came out nice. Heck yeah. Headlights look good. Look at that shiny, man. Hell yeah. 
that black magic works nice heck yeah man am i tired sorry i didn't film the rest of it like i said i only had two two and a half hours left so this is gonna end this video um i think this will probably be the end of the series like i said i just gotta fix the top which i already know what's wrong with it nothing wrong there it's easy and figure out the reclining seats and that's it and it's complete um i know i did not film cleaning the engine compartment i haven't done that yet i might do, do that on another video i'm not sure like i said there might be one more video i doubt it though because this thing is complete nice looking and that's going to end today's bobby's backyard on the 2003 clk 430 convertible soft top hope you enjoyed this video please like share comment down below it really helps the channel and if you're new here please consider subscribing check out my other videos and if you uh, already subscribed thanks for the support talk to you guys later